Hi, I'm Susan Berkeley from GreatVoice.com with this week's Inside VoiceOver Video Training Blog, and I have a confession to make. I created a monster. Now, what's that monster? The whole concept of niche marketing for voiceover. Some years ago, I was the first one to start talking about this, and I identified at least 14 niche voiceover markets. There's probably many more than that now these days with all the specialization. But why did I start talking about niche marketing, and what does that mean to you, and why did I create a monster? Well, a niche is actually a sub-market in the voiceover industry. You know, you have audiobooks, that's a niche. You have video games, that's a niche. You have television promos, that's a niche. Commercials is a niche. Corporate voiceovers is another, and on and on and on. And I believe when we work with beginners, we try to help you focus on the voiceover niche where you're going to have the most chance of making it in this business, which is going to be more effective for you. Now, niches are great because they allow you to really zero in on a market. So you're not trying to promote your services to anybody and everybody. You're trying to focus your demo, all of your marketing materials, in certain areas. Now, it's a monster because people now start to come to me, beginners. They're really nervous. They're like, what's my niche? What's my niche? They feel lost. They feel confused. And this week, I want to tell you to calm down. It's okay. You don't have to select or pick your niche if you're just starting out. It will come to you naturally. And frankly, I think everybody should start with a commercial and or a corporate narration demo. And the reason is most of the work is in those two areas. So you're really going to help yourself out. And then you can add other niche markets later, other specialty demos. So relax. It'll happen. For me, for example, the niche where I've made my most money and continue to do so over the years is in the computer telephony niche or IVR voice prompts. I've done millions of them and made millions of dollars over the years in that particular voiceover specialty. I didn't ask for it. I didn't select it. It found me, believe it or not. And I'm not going to say no. Hey, you know, I would love to do commercials. They're a lot of fun. Voice prompts might be a little dull, but hey, it pays the bills. So I love it. So I say this week, calm down. Your niche is going to find you. If you work with us, we'll help you target yourself. But just Get your skill set together, learn good basic voiceover, start with a commercial and a corporate demo, and you can't go wrong. See you next week.